Welcome back to the Assembly Rooms. Um, it has quietened down a bit now, so if you are outside listening to us and uh, want to get in out of the cold, it's a good opportunity to do it. But I, I've got um, another very important person in Alton here. He, if you come up to me, and, and in fact, um, I think he's in competition with Pam Jones. He's written that he's uh, one of the most important people in Alton. And it's uh, Bob, Bob Booker. Hello, Bob. Hello. How are you? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. One minute I'm freezing cold and I'm outside <laughs> and now in here. Oh, I know. It's, it's jumpers off. And the jumper you've got on, I think you're going to have to take that off. I can see now. Look at it. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Right, you're here today representing the... Oh, it's the Alton Society. I'm pushing that as usual. But as you can see, lots of issues that we've got here with the Coors Brewery site, the flood meadows, clearing up the flood meadows, making sure that's nice and clean and all sorts of issues. But today it's also but also all about fun. We've got our, you can have, you've got to go away with a Satsuma, that's free, donated by Sainsbury's. Isn't that wonderful? Good old Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his plug in there as well. And sweets. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. So how, how is the, um, the, the cause thing going? Oh, really interesting. We've had a meeting with the developers already, um, and they didn't throw our ideas out straight away. In fact, I hope they won't at all. Um, but we're really pushing the community element, uh, the way walk, which will go through right the centre of the site, and I think they like that idea. And, of course, we're looking for more one- and two-bedroom flats and houses for the youngsters in the town uh, with affordable housing. So that, that that's what we're pushing, and people can have a look at the plan here. It's all up there, um, plus more little industrial units for people to work in the units and live above. That's that's some of the ideas. Yeah. Now, I'm just looking across the room at your plan here. Yes. Do I see a little square there which says... Um local radio stu uh, studio? Do you know, I think it should be there. There will be a community building, so why not? We could have you in there. I personally would like to see CAB in there as well and other community-based units actually in the community-based area. So that would be really, really, really important. Right, there we go. Uh, we'll make a note of that then, and we, w we will get back to you. Oh, I, I hope you will. I, well, I'm, I'm always popping in, as you know, so I look forward to... Uh, I'll see you... I'll, I'll, all your listeners will be there, I'm sure, on Tuesday morning when I'll be with David and having our usual slot and debate about town issues. Right, OK. Well, there you go, listeners. And um, if you are listening out and about and you want a free set sumer, courtesy of Sainsbury's, yep. come along to the Alton Society stand, which is right in the middle of the assembly rooms here. That's brilliant. Thanks. OK, thanks a lot then, Bob. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, cheers. OK, let's see what, what else we've got here. Oh, I'm having trouble here with my earphones, purely for the fact that we've got people with wheelchairs and it appears to be effective. <laughs> He's trying to sell his set soon, isn't he? Uh, uh, let's see if we can have a word with this lady. Can you have a talk? Right, I've got a young lady here. I'll just make my way round. Hello, this is uh, Way Valley Radio. We're live on the radio now. Yes. First off, what's your name? My name's Jane Stennett. Jane. Right, OK. What have you got here, then? Well, I've got... Um, a little studio in Four Marks called Mama's House and I create all sorts of different things, gift ideas, decorations, that. but I also am a local author and I write children's books. Um, the one that at the moment uh, has just come out is called Moggies. Moggies, that's why I saw Moggies on the front. I thought perhaps uh, you were called Moggies. <laughs> But, no. um, yeah, OK, so you've got those for sale here now. Yes, I have. I've got them here for sale today. And um, also from the studio at home in Four Marks at Four Limington Bottom. Right, OK. And um, what else have you got here for sale? Well, we've got lots of fairy gardens, which I should think the girls would love. Um, lots of Christmas decorations for the table, handmade, knitted, knitted toys and fairies and uh, lots of books and moggy cats. Right, so you've got a lot on offer here. Yes, I have. Right, there you go then, listeners. If you're coming up into the hall here, it's right in the middle of the hall. Come and have a look at them. And you've got somebody sitting on a 
tortoise there. At the front here. That that is Twiglet. He's a he's a goblin. Well, do you know what? He's the exact replica of our manager. Is he? Has he got those long legs like this? I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can get him to come out here and see you. And see. And so, those ears. And the, and the ears are perfect. They really are perfect. <laughs> Although you don't see his ears very much because he's got a pair of headphones on you know, all the time. <laughs> okay, thanks very much then. Okay, so they